Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Myra and today I'm going to be sharing how to make these michelada bombs. I had actually made these in a frozen version and I had a bunch of questions in regards to selling these or how to make these in a dry version. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going in with these half circle molds. Now keep in mind that I am using a clay cup, which is about the size of a large cup. So you wanna make sure to size down if you're using anything smaller. Our first ingredient is going to be baking soda and I'm using one tablespoon. And what I really like about this recipe is that you can really make it your own, especially if you're thinking of selling these. You can change the size of the molds, the shape of the mold, the flavor. If you like your drink to be more on the sweet side, then go in with some Lucas Mango. But if you like your drink to be more on the spicy sour side, then go in with Lucas Chamoy. You're going to need one bottle of whatever flavor you decided to do, and this is about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of tamarind flavored powder that's usually used for aguas frescas. A tablespoon of citric acid and in case you can't find this or any other ingredient that I mention in any of my videos I always try to have them linked for you in my description box I'm actually on vacation right now and I have to go to four different stores just to find this so in case that's your situation then you can always check there and if you still have any questions I'm always glad to help and four tablespoons of tahin. And I'm just dissolving any of the bigger pieces that I find, making sure everything is smooth. A few drops of Tabasco. I'm using the original one, but if you want this to be even spicier, then you can always go in with the Habanero or the Scorpion one. Or if you don't even like Tabasco, you can always substitute it for a different hot sauce. And just a few drops of Chamoy. And you can't really skip the chamoy because that's what's going to help us make sure everything sticks together. It's going to work as a glue. You want to make sure it's not super sticky so it can actually come out of the mold. And you don't want it to be too dry to where it will dissolve and not keep its shape. So you might have to play with it a little like I did. But once you have it down, you can add it to your mold. And this is the texture that you want. So you might want to wear gloves as you can see it gets pretty messy and now I'm going to let it rest for a minute or two until it has fully expanded so this doesn't happen when I'm trying to place them on the mold or else it's going to spill out. And I just wanted to mention that I'm not adding anything to my mold, but I would highly suggest you use a silicone mold so it's easier to take them out. And just adding a little bit of pressure to make sure that it is completely covered. The texture of this reminds me of kinetic sand. It allows you to take some off or add more and it will still stick. And I was able to make a total of four. But keep in mind, I made mine for large cups, so you can definitely get more out of this if you size down. And 
And if you have a sweet tooth like I do, you can always add some pica fresas and pica tamarind candy to the center. In case you're not familiar with these, pica fresas are more on the sweet side and pica tamarind are more on the spicy side. They have a gummy center and they're really delicious. And I'm just going to show you really quickly how I garnish my cup and how I prepare my drink. I like to get a little bit of tahin and a little bit of chamoy and then dip my cup in the chamoy first and then in the tahin. If you want yours to be a little bit more sweet, you can absolutely substitute the tahin for Miguelito. And as you can tell, I didn't use Miguelito, I decided to go for the tajin, but in case you want to try Miguelito, I will have it linked for you in my description box. And now you can use any beer of your choice that you like to use for your micheladas. I had Corona on hand, so that's what I'm using. And because I decided to use tajin, I want to even out my sweet and sour with this tamarind stick and I'm going to be using this as a straw. I'm going to be adding clamato. The amount that you need is all up to you. Just depends how much you like on your drink. And I usually like to have my clamato and my beer chilled before making my drink. That way I don't have to add ice. And you want to make sure you leave some space for your Michi Bomb. They definitely make your drink go up and you want to avoid spills, but this is what they look like once I take them out the mold. And I always get questions as to how long I let them set. And this is the great part about the recipe that you don't even need to leave them in there for a long time. I just finished making mine and used them right away. Once added to your drink, they immediately start to dissolve. And now you can add the rest of your beer or more clamato. And don't forget to let me know if you try these and subscribe. I have many more recipes coming and I'll see you in my next video.